The New York Knicks preseason is over, and we are just a couple days away from opening night where the New York Knicks will host the Boston Celtics at Madison Square Garden. Before we get to the regular season, though, let's look back at the preseason. I'm going to give you my biggest winners and losers following the four preseason games for the Knicks. Let's be honest. It's the preseason. Not much to take from it. But there are some things that I thought stood out, so I'm going to give some winners and some losers on today's video. But first, I need all of you watching right now to join us next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time for opening night, Knicks vs. Celtics. We're going to be live on the channel, our first watch party of many for the upcoming season. Going to be a whole lot of fun. All the real ones are going to be there. Subscribe, turn your notifications on, and let's get weird on Wednesday. Let's start with the biggest loser of the preseason for the New York Knicks, and that's going to be R.J. Barrett. Look, like I said at the top of the show, no one at the end of the day is just an absolute huge loser. But I am not impressed, by the way, that R.J. Barrett played in the preseason, to be quite frank with you. But I'm not going to overreact, because if you go back and look at what R.J. did in the preseason last year, he was really, really good. And then he started the season extremely cold. This year, hopefully it's the opposite approach, because he was dog water in the preseason. The man in three preseason games shot 37.5% from the field. Quite frankly, that's unacceptable. He shot 28% from downtown. Not acceptable. He averaged 18 points. That's cool and all. He shot better from the free throw line. I like that. He got to the foul line more than he used to. I like that. But it's always going to be, be about efficiency with R.J. Barrett. And that's a problem for me going forward when I try to forecast if this Knicks team can be elite. Can they with R.J. Barrett on this roster? I'm just not sure. I don't think he defends well enough. I don't think he shoots well enough. And the proof, the proof is in the pudding on that one. I don't, I'm not trying to push any sort of agenda. The stats show you that he needs to be a much more efficient basketball player. Do you believe in R.J. Barrett? I just want to ask an honest question right here. Do you believe in R.J. Barrett as a basketball player? What do you think? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I think a big winner for the New York Knicks in the preseason was number 30, the face of Skechers basketball, Julius Randle. I love what Randle did in the preseason. I thought he just played smart basketball. Had a couple of turnovers. Look, it's preseason. Everyone's sloppy. First time they're getting the rust off. But it's the efficiency and really the shot diet that Julius Randle had that I was impressed with. He didn't really take any of those long twos. And he's talked about that's not something he wants to continue to do. He wants to cut that out of his shot selection. And that's a bad shot. A 21-foot two-pointer. Scoot back two feet. Take a three. And he was on fire from downtown, knocking down 54% of his tray balls in the preseason. Seven rebounds. Not that many assists. Only two assists per night to 1.3 turnovers. But at the end of the day, I like the shape that Julius Randle came into camp with. That was evident in the preseason. I felt like he has just a cleaner conscience right now. And something about the low cut that Randle has tells me he's about business this year. And I'm ready to see 30 have a big year and then carry that performance into the playoffs and really just quiet all of the super haters out there who sometimes I can be. <laughs> Let's talk about another loser. And this one was disappointing for me. But again, it's preseason. Not going to draw too many conclusions from it. The big ragu, Dante DiVincenzo, I thought never really found his footing in the preseason. And I also thought that was partially due to the lineups that he was playing with. He was playing next to guys that, quite frankly, aren't going to be getting a whole lot of minutes for the New York Knicks. He didn't shoot the ball well, he wasn't efficient, and he was also sloppy with the basketball. He averaged two and a half turnovers a game in the four preseason games he played in, and he had just two assists. Shot worse than 34% from the field and worse than 32% from three-point land. Look, it's a little bit discouraging to see your new free agent, $50 million man, Dante DiVincenzo, perform like that, but I still got all the faith in the world. Too high of a basketball IQ, too good of a basketball player, and just too much of a stud to be that bad. Uh, I think he's going to be good in the regular season. And I think when he's playing alongside Jalen Brunson and Josh Hart and really the core members of this team, the production is only going to increase for Dante DiVincenzo. We've got some more players to talk about in today's video. But first, we've got to talk about my favorite sponsor here at Knicks Now, and that is Prize Picks. If you like playing fantasy sports, and you want to play daily fantasy sports and win money and actually be able to take it out of your account, go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use that promo code CLNS. And Prize Picks is going to match your initial deposit up to $100. How do you play? Listen up. You just select a lineup of two to six players and you simply select more or less 
on the stat line that Prize Picks has for each player. For instance, you could make some season long plays right now. Jalen Brunson's points per game at 24.4. I'd take the more on that. I'd also take the more on Julius Randle, 24.3 points per game. RJ Barrett, I could see it going either way at 19.7 points per game. You just select more or you select less. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. Not only is it the best way to play, if we're being real, it's the only way to play. So get hooked up, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. And remember, promo code CLNS, play prize picks, have fun, support the show, support the sponsor. We'd really appreciate it. Another big winner that I thought kind of emerged in the preseason, what about Deuce McBride, Miles McBride? The preseason is made for people like Miles McBride to show the type of player that he is. We know he's a hound dog on defense. We know that if Tom Thibodeau could create 12 Deuce McBrides and put him on a roster, he would do so. But what I'm trying to get at is I saw a little bit of growth. I saw a little bit of development and maturation in Deuce McBride's game. And I'll continue to pound the table and say it. If Deuce McBride can shoot a league average percentage from downtown, he is someone that needs to play every single night. He locked up Jalen Brown. He just forced him left, doesn't have a left hand. We know that. But he played good defense in almost every single possession he was in. The dude also averaged 4.3 assists and only 1.5 turnovers, averaged over a steal and uh, right at about a steal and a half per night in those four preseason contests. And I just want to continue to see a young Miles McBride continue to get better and better as each day and as each year goes along in this league. I'm confident in him as our third point guard. I don't really think he's a rotation player right now, but I do think he's like Tom Thibodeau's little like pet. He's trying to just see one day he's going to be ready to go on that walk without the leash and be able to play some meaningful minutes for this ball club. Another big winner, I thought Emmanuel quickly early on in the preseason, only played in two games and specifically against the Boston Celtics because he is the daddy of TD Garden, absolutely dominated them in that preseason game. Emmanuel quickly is someone that I think is going to be a big piece for the Knicks this year. Unfortunately, it sounds like they're not going to give him a contract extension just yet, which means he'll enter restricted free agency. But we saw in the playoffs, even when he struggled and even when he didn't play, how important his success is to the ball club. Look, the Knicks need another playmaker. They need another shot creator, another isolator, someone that can get others involved. That's Emmanuel quickly, 15 points per game in the preseason, three steals per night in the preseason, Two assists, 45% from the field. Three-point shot a little bit off early in those two games, but never something to worry about with IQ. I'm expecting a big year for Quickly as he enters year four in the association. If you are excited about the season opener, hit that thumbs up icon. I'm trying to, you know, get a little test and see what Knicks fans are hyped about the season. Look, as a diehard Giants fan, I think it's going to be basketball season a little bit earlier here at <laughs> Chat Sports. If you're excited for the season opener, hit that thumbs up icon. Let's close out the show with a little rapid fire preseason winners. Loved what I saw from Mitchell Robinson, man. He was a stud, and he continues to show why he is one of the best rim protectors in this league, but also the best offensive rebounder in the NBA. I also thought he looked a little bit more engaged on the offensive end. I felt like R.J. Barrett was a guy that was looking for Mitchell Robinson on those pick and rolls. Does what he does. Eight rebounds. But 4.3 of those were offensive rebounds. He is the best in the league at that. But it's a free throw percentage that I'm worried about for Mitchell Robinson. That's free throw percentage at the bottom. Shooting just 22% from the line there. He's got to be better in that area. And I'm hoping that's a step he can take. Uh, at the end of the day, he's never going to be an elite shooter. But can he at least be semi-serviceable and clutch like he was against the Heat when they tried the hack a check against him? Last preseason winner. And this could have been the biggest preseason winner of them all. Loved what I saw from Quentin Grimes. Was it Wednesday night? Uh, Tuesday night, excuse me, when he played against the uh, Boston Celtics, made seven threes, and they weren't just the catch-and-shoot threes that he gets from the corner. He was putting it on the deck one time. Oh, has he pull up? Jason Tatum couldn't guard him. Jalen Brown couldn't guard him. And he definitely know Drew Holiday can't guard him. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Smitty. F. Smitty in the chat. Who do you got, though? We're six days away. Five days away. Six days? Five days? Six days. We're six days away from opening night. Let's go 1-0. and F Boston. Who do you got? Type NYK for the Knicks. Or if you're a loser and have no friends, type BOS. As always, just want to say thanks, and I appreciate you for tuning in to Knicks Now by Chat Sports. If you haven't yet, give me a follow over on Twitter, at MarshallGreen underscore.